Why are these forum communities important? We only do one of these events every six months, so things happen in between that I want to just share with all of you and share to just make sure um, we understand. So I was doing an interview with a doctor called uh, Dr. Molly Maloof. Some of you may know her. She's from, um, from California. And this was actually the last question that I asked her, and she just gave this answer, so I want to play for everyone. Why these forum communities are important. Do you remember that at the very beginning of the pandemic, like March, there was a there was a thread, there was a Facebook thread, and there was a bunch of doctors on there from the San Francisco Bay Area. Daniel Schmachtenberger was on there. Yeah. And for a minute, there was like a citizen science moment happening, right? Yeah. Where everyone was sort of like in real time sharing what they were seeing working and connecting. And Brett Weinstein has talked a lot about this on his podcast. Like for a moment, the peer review process was broken. Everything was live. It was all in real time. And, you know, I took a lot from that. I really enjoyed that conversation because it was just like smart people who I think yeah. would trust with my health in real time going over it. And I, I just wanted to ask if you had an experience with that, because ultimately, you know, within a few months, COVID was politicized and having an opinion about anything was like, you know, was was putting you along like... Um, I mean, we are not allowed lines. to have opinions on COVID. If you do, you can get your license taken away in California. So no. I am like extra careful about talking about COVID these days because the last thing I want to do is get in trouble with the California Medical Board. But um, suffice to say, there's still doctors having these conversations. They're just not having them online. You know, a lot of us are still having these conversations about, I mean, there's so much out there, so much controversy right now still about the way to handle COVID. And from what I can gather, there's a lot of scared doctors from within the system that don't really know what to do anymore. So I do think that, um, you know, we definitely still need to figure out these forums for physicians to talk about things. and compare the evidence and discuss the science because um, that's what medicine is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about peer review. It's supposed to be about discussing, um, you know, what's best for patients and doing what's best for patients. Well, you just given the best plug ever for the functional forum meetup groups, which are happening yes. around the country where doctors can get together, speak face to face, speak their mind. And I hope that that infrastructure can be part of the renaissance of medicine. All right, so, you know, I recorded that, and it was just so clear that, yeah, it was a tricky time for everyone over the last three years, and especially as licensed providers, licensed by your state, to have an opinion on the most politicized topic of all time was really tricky, and I'm proud that a place like this could be a place where real people can come face-to-face -face and talk to each other about what's really going on and how to help the patients the best, because that is really necessary. So I wanted to put that in just because, one, she said it so clearly. She even used the word forum. I did not prompt her, I promise you, on that. Um, and I think that was, that was well said. And the other reason is this. I mean, this was on the third functional forum. Dr. Kelly Brogan did a whole thing about this in psychiatry. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the ASH experiments. But essentially, what this shows is there was a series of experiments done where they would show you, they would show the person the first one, then ask them which one it lined up with. And then the experiment was they would have a bunch of people guess wrongly first right, and then see if it changed the guess. It's obvious what the answer is, but if all the people ahead of you answered A, would you say A? You might say A. 33% of people would say A, right? So, you know, this is why it's critical to be in this conversation so that we can have real conversations, be face-to-face, -face, not do it on social media where, you know, that it could be uh, potentially problematic.